Kaito Kito, and this is another episode of G Mythbuster. Hi, this is Super Kaito Kito, and today we I have this video because some people just don't understand what the heck is Porto about. Hello, YouTubers. This is Super Kaito Kid, and right now I'm in Platinum Arts Sandbox. It's a very, very interesting game, which is very cool. Everything is, it's almost like it's a virtual sandbox in which you can edit and make your own boxes. And drag. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial because it's going to make a long time unless you guys want me to make it. And I'll show you guys what a level that I made. So. As you can see, I call this the never ending cycle of the water. As you can see, the water flows down. And it goes through this channel all the way here. And then it goes to this place. And inside this place, you could see that it's very deep. So let's just zoom all the way to the bottom. Which will take a long time. And then once we're here, you'll see there's two passages. And appears that that one is blocked, so we'll go to this passage right here. We'll go, go to this place, and there seems to be some kind of gap in the water. And yeah, that's a dead end. So let's go away from this place. As you can see, I'm in edit mode, which I can fly around in after I get out, get out of this place. I'm going to continue my route in this water passage. You can follow this water, and then you'll hit a dead end. And you might think it's the dead end, but actually, the water is secretly flowing underneath. See this? It's the secret little passageway, and it it flows out there. See? Let's go into this hole and see. And it seems to be some kind of water place. And there seems all the water seems to go into that white stuff. So let's go into the white stuff. And boom, we're teleported here. And the water seems to have fallen down here. Let's go all the way down. And up here is that we're back here. That's nice, because now it's a never-ending cycle. Now this place is very unique, because there's a secret about this place. Here's another deep hole. It'll just be a bottomless pit. Now, this, there's something unique about it. It's this part right here. If you fall in, you'll come back here. So, either way, all the water supply goes up to there. See? The water somehow goes up there, falls down, and goes into that hole. In which case, it will go back up there. So, now there's a secret place somewhere in this level, which I'll show you guys. It's over here, behind the waterfall. We go into it, and we're going to the middle of nowhere. But then you'll see these marks on the top, so you could follow these directions of the marks. Follow this place. Now this mark means you have to jump. Let's say you go somewhere else. You would die. Let's do that again. Back. Here. Now let's walk here. Along the path. Oh! Fell in. Let's do that again. Hey, we're here. Okay, now slowly walk. Okay, we're here. Now jump here. Go in there. And now we're all the way in the middle of nowhere. Now, this is the second test. You just have to walk along this side. All the way to nowhere else land. And then somehow you'll be able to jump and be teleported. And then there's the second test, which you're from one corner all the way to this corner. And there's this hole in this corner. But, you'll see in a moment there's lava, so you have to lean to this wall, and you'll fall to the other tunnel, and you'll start falling again, and falling, and falling. You go into water, 
jump off and use the secret area, which I'm going to add more stuff. And yeah, now I'll show you guys the edit mode. This is the edit. And kind of dig, dig holes, or you could adjust a corner in which then you were able to make weird edges with it and stuff. Now if you guys want me to make a tutorial, I can. If you want me to, that is. And I'll show you guys how my course was made. Because it might all be confusing. So I'm going to die here. Alright, so how does my course work? Well, in here there's a teleporter. And there's a wall. If you go through the wall and then press the teleporter, you'll be teleported all the way to the corner over there. Now, the corner over there is made with double walls, so it's hard to see. Because I've made part of the platform by pressing F2 and then to this sky texture, making it look like it's the sky. Which then it'll look like a hole which will fall through, but it's just one of the textures. And in this part, I just dug a really deep hole, filled it with water. Now for... This part... Oh, there's another hole. For this part... Where is it? Oh, there it is. For this hole right here, you see the white stuff. Once you touch it, you'll be teleported again because there's a teleporter. And since there's a brick, you can't see it until you pass through it and then before you pass through it you'll be all the way up there teleported and then you'll fall down and we will start the cycle same goes here now let's go to this side now you might be weird but this is what happens you're actually in a room full of tiles as you can see it's two walled because if it's only one walled it's gonna lag so then right now you're in one of the corners so then, now in this room it might look all weird and all, but then I made a thin sheet of lava here, so that if anyone was, and I made all, everything else can't collide, so if they walk on, they'll fall in and die. I made only this part of the section walkable, and a small little gap here, so then they'll touch this, and they'll be teleported to the middle of nowhere, and then I made this huge box, and a jump pad underneath the box in here has lots of teleporters and I made this box transparent as well so it looked like nothing but once you walk along the side and touch the jump pad you'll touch the teleporter and you'll be teleported to the other side of the room and then for this hole I just made it a hole all the way down made lava and I made another hole next to it but instead of just making it a hole I made a transparent wall on this side only and then you'll be following here. That's all. So this is Super Kaito Kid signing out. And this thing is called Platinum Art Sandbox. Very fun, especially the music. You should try hearing this. Try hearing the music. So yeah. Hope you enjoy this. This is Super Kaito Kid over and out. And I give this game a 7.0 out of 10 because, well, it doesn't have the best graphics and not a lot of really fun things where you could script. And there's other modes besides this game. So, yeah, see you later. Super Kaito Kid signing out.